This week, you are going to be developing a complete single page web app. And so you are going to want to go through the lecture demo and chapter two in the book. And the videos, a lot of the videos are right in the lecture portion. Uh, but this particular one is in the hands-on one. And I will tell you the video was done using Visual Studio 2019, and there is literally no difference between the two versions. Uh, everything is pretty much the same other than the splash screen says, you know, 2019 instead of 2022. Um, so this will walk you through kind of setting up the project, and then from this point on, uh, there are videos for each section and there are the videos for the hands-on. And, you know, if you read through the section and you don't really understand it, watch the video. Uh, hopefully that will help. I also think that working with it right away afterwards does help you understand it as well. And the way this class progresses is uh, the first five chapters, we cover everything. But then um, starting in chapter six, we go back into like controllers and we take a little deeper dive. So you're going to end up getting all the information twice. So you get this preliminary view of it and then we go back and do the deeper dive. And I do think that helps especially because MVC is kind of complicated. Uh, so you are going to work your way through uh, the lecture demo. You're going to complete all of the hands-on. And by the time you're done, you'll end up with two different projects that you're going to be putting on uh, GitHub. And then you're going to add those GitHub links to the Dropbox. Uh, one of the projects is uh, the one that the book kind of works through. It's the for Future Value app. And the other one I am giving you and you're going to be modifying. So the other one is this detective agency. And so you're going to download it. And then you're going to be adding a model. You'll be modifying uh, the controller and you're gonna modify a view. Okay, so um, I'm giving you quite a bit and you're gonna be making modifications. Uh, then a lot of people, for some reason, miss this second part. <laughs> so this is um, adding some additional views to the future value. Uh, so you're going to add an action method, uh, a contact action method and a uh, about contact method. Uh, you have to add those to the home controller and then you have to generate the views. If you get confused, you don't know what to do, I am here to help you. Uh, you can pop into my office hours or email me. Uh, we can try to set up a separate meeting. I do have a lot of classes this semester. <laughs> so, um, you know, if everybody wants a separate meeting, uh, I might be a little strapped for time. So um, if you guys can come into the live stream, that would be great. Uh, but I understand some of you are working and it's difficult. So we can try to figure out uh, another time um, if you don't understand what to do. Uh, so uh, once you get everything done, uh, you are going to be submitting links to your GitHub repo repositories in the Dropbox. And if for some reason you do not have the book yet, the textbook publisher was kind enough to give me the second chapter. So I do have the second chapter here for you. Um, and again, let me know if you have any questions or if you run into problems. Uh, have a great week. And I do look forward to uh, looking at your assignments once you submit them.